This segment brought to you by Kansas Grain Sorghum, growers working together. Find out more at kansasgrainsorghum.org. Welcome to Farm Factor. Let's join Dwayne Taves and Howard Miller as they discuss the unique Cheney Lake Watershed Project. Dwayne Taves joining you once again with Ag AM in Kansas and a chance to catch up with Howard Miller with the Cheney Lake Watershed. And Howard, uh, the Cheney Lake Watershed Project, uh, an interesting group of individuals that have come together to address some serious issues. Can you give us a little background on why we're at where we are? Well, back in the early 90s, the city of Wichita started noticing there was taste and odor issues with the water in Cheney Lake. And so they, they, they set out to find out what the problems were. They discovered that it was the taste and odor was caused by phosphorus that was loading in the lake and causing blue-green algae blooms. And since then, we've also discovered a lot. there's some sediment, a little less than we might have expected at this point, but there's sediment coming into the lake. So what we are doing as a project, we work with the farmers and ranchers above the lake to control the sediment and the, the phosphorus or the other nutrient runoff off of their, their land into Cheney Lake. And so uh, right now we're a little bit behind schedule on what they would have expected for sedimentation. And we're, uh, our taste and odor issues are, have been few and far between. So we're, we're, we're gaining on it. And like I said, we started in the early 90s. In 1994, where we were officially organized. And we've been working with farmers and ranchers since 1994. It's interesting from my perspective, uh, oftentimes when we start thinking about water quality issues and such, typically immediately most people think about regulation. Uh, here is a collaboration uh, and the results therefore are, are a better outcome for everybody involved it appears. That's right, and the city of Wichita is a really good partner for us in this watershed projects. So 60% of the water that's used in Wichita every day comes from Cheney Lake. And there's about 350,000 of us that live in, in Wichita that use this water. And the city of Wichita not only is interested in improving the water quality, they put their cash where, where their mouth is. They, in other words, they're out here putting cost share dollars out in the watershed. So if you get 70% from state or federal cost share, they'll often kick into the other 30%. Or if you get 60, they'll kick into the 40. Uh, often there's very little cost to the producers in the watershed to do the, the, the things that they need to do to control the runoff off of their land. It's an interesting concept uh, that people actually can work together and, and, uh, and achieve an outcome that's positive on both regards. Uh, I'm sure a number of producers are pleased with what they've seen with some of the implementation measures as well. That's true, and, in, and we're here today at a soil health field day, and one of the reasons we're interested in soil health is because soil health is one thing that you can do on your farm that will increase your profitability and at the same time hold that soil back on your farm where you can use it and farm and you also get more infiltration of the water. When you infiltrate water, it comes out as base flow into the stream, giving the city of Wichita a much safer supply of water. So it's a win-win. Our thanks to Howard Miller with the Cheney Lake Watershed Project joining us on Ag AM in Kansas. Jamie, we'll send it back to you. Folks, come back after these messages for this week's Kansas Soybean Update. Ag Promo Source is a unique group of marketing specialists with one mission, help your ag business grow. Each affiliate has their own area of expertise and they work together to bring you advice, products, and services. To get started, visit agpromosource.com. Ag Promo Source, together we grow.